Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Terraria. Uh, <laughs> as you guys uh, probably noticed, the ending of last episode was supremely frustrating due to some major, major um, lag issues that we had to deal with, which kind of sucked. So I figured that I would just continue on back down into the underground and continue something that I hadn't uh, done, which was um, going uh, in more in a straight down direction. I figured what I would do is get the area underneath my house down far enough. Oh, hey. Get that down far enough to reach the underground cavern layer. And once I reached that layer, then I would head either to, well, either to the left and or the right. Uh, can't quite reach that. Okay. Well, I guess there's can't be any harm in going into this little area here. So yeah guys, that's my game plan. I figure that we really ought to get the gold armor before we trek into the corruption. I know that it is, of course, possible to get through. Sorry, I was, I was searching for the E key there. Um, at any rate, though, I, I know it's perfectly possible to get through the corruption without the gold armor. But I, I would actually like to explore the these lower levels more. At, at the very least, you know, it, it'll help with um, it'll help with you know getting the the molten armor eventually. Because once you get the uh, is it molten? Yeah, it's called molten. Um, <laughs> once you get the Once you, once you get enough hellstone to make molten armor f before you can make it, you still have to have a bunch of, um... Sorry, I'm really drawing a blank here. A, bu a bunch of gold armor first, anyways. Alright, well, it looks like we are at the edge of the cavern lever layer, though. And at a massive cavern. So, be very careful here because, as you guys probably recall, I quite nearly died in this layer not too long ago. Oh, well that did not work. Did that quite incorrectly. Have you guys seen, by the way, the trailer for True Area 1.1 update? Because it looks pretty sick. I have to say, at least. I think. I feel that way. So, I am definitely looking forward to that, and of course, whenever that comes out, I will revisit my regular playthrough, um, as well as probably make a few, uh, you know, update highlight videos sort of my game plan for it. I figure, uh, I've actually gotten several comments from people saying, you know, that they that they were surprised that I had, I guess, as few views as I have. And to that, you know, uh, on first of all, I'm perfectly satisfied with, you know, the viewers I, I have. I mean, I, you guys are why I make the video. Uh, not, I, you know, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, I need more views. and I, About themselves, that is. And to that, I, you know, I understand people's motivation with that, but for me, I make the videos mostly because I like it, which I know is kind of perhaps a novel concept, 
Um, but it's just, you know, sort of my my thought on that. So it looks like we've gotten into an area that we had already previously explored. Um, I'm going to go back up to the top real quick and drop on down. And I, as you can see, I was reaching up there to, to click on the sword, and then I thought, well, okay, I should use the hotkeys since I'm... <laughs> I can't tell you guys like how many comments I've gotten about please use the keys correctly and so I'm working on that um, back to the whole views thing though uh, you know despite the fact that I certainly make the videos uh, what I bought for what I think are the right reasons uh, at the same time I realized that you know if I get more views and that also inherently means that more people will get to see what I'm making and I would certainly like that um, and so in that sense getting more views would be quite desirable so I figure the best way to do that is through some of those uh, you know new feature videos sort of like um, either either like videos like the how-to videos because I, I've gotten quite a few subscribers directly from the, you know, how to make a elevator uh, video, as well as, I believe, from the um, how to find the floating islands video. And I think I mentioned before, too, I, I intend to make a how to find the rocket boots video. I just have to get around to doing that because it's a rather, it's a rather difficult video set to do. It takes a good amount of input to do, but I'm, I'm working on it. So I figure for when the 1.1 update comes out, I'll do some videos like, you know, here is how to f get the cobalt or the adamantium or the mithril or and all, all that kind of stuff, and then highlight what you can make with those, um, whatever new biomes and stuff they put in as well, I'll take a little tour of. And then, of course, I'll just revisit the uh, regular playthrough for you guys. I keep putting torches on places that I think I see something up here. Sure enough, I do. Alright. I'm being careful there, it's lagging just a little bit. I just making sure I wasn't on anything too uh, too dangerous there. So I think I think what causes the the lagging is when I have too many enemies on screen for my crappy computer to handle. I've been looking up um, as per some of your advice the um, different potential builds for like a build your own PC type thing and actually for for a decent budget you can make a computer that is, is literally twice as well qu probably literally more than twice as powerful as the laptop I am currently playing on so I think that I believe there's some gold over here uh, just a little little pocket but you know it's not bad Ooh. So, getting back on topic, um, I am looking forward very much so to the new update. Uh, I, for those of you who follow Terraria online, it's pretty cool. Like, I mean, I, I, you know, I don't know all of what the details are, but it looks like there's some new, um, new ores being added, as well as... I really hate this night blindness that you that you get from these guys, and I hate bats. I really hate bats. I actually ca might call this episode "I Hate Bats," um, unless I can think of a better. Thinking of titles is really hard. By the way, guys, um, it really is. Like you, you think it wouldn't be that hard. You just you know, you did a video and then you think, well, I'll make a I'll make a title for it. 
based on what happened in the video and then you think well what did I do in the video and then you think well that, <laughs> that doesn't make a very concise title in this video I you know explored the underground and then fought off random mobs while playing this game called Terraria so you know it's not an immediately obvious thing always so you gotta keep your title short usually although you can have like a short main part of your title once you get to the oh sweet we got a life crystal I am thoroughly pleased with that let's use that God, our inventory fills up so fast That was pretty lucky, though. Got ourselves a life crystal. Hmm. So, yeah. Um, also, I was going to ask, did you guys ever watch Captain Sparkles? Ooh. Ooh. This could be good. That puts something back up, though. I'll give him some sand. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna have to go back to the base, though, since my inventory is full. But I'm gonna continue the episode because we've barely been playing at all. Quite a bit of silver ore there. And this gravitation potion is going to come in handy later. Once we get some golden keys, we're going to be searching for some flo floating, um, floating islands. You know, I just realized we're, when we get down there, we're going to find that golden chest, and it's going to it's going to fake us out. We're going to think, "Wow, we found a found a new chest. Yeah, that's awesome." And then it's going to be like, "No, oh wow, we're already full of that." Hmm these guys in here for now. That's part of what was taking up so much space. I'm trying to think what else I can sort of drop off in here. Because again, if I minimize how much space is being taken up by my inventory... Oh, hey! There's some shooting stars up there. Be sure to go back up and get those... I'm going to leave some platforms with the wood here. Because they're taking up a little too much space. I, I had so many of them because I was building that... Because I was building that big old um, area for fighting Cthulhu. Which was certainly a... Um, <laughs> I do not want to talk to the guide. Alright, so our inventory. I have an extra cloud in the bottom. I put that up with my accessories. Yeah, and sorry for the, you know, doing, uh. What's it called? This would go in here. Doing all this inventory stuff on the video. I, I you know, I figure. Again, it might not be like the most exciting part of the game, but it, it, it's an... Oh wow, we're almost out of torches. I should use some <laughs> some goose. Uh, here we go. Some gels. I go back and get that wood we put up again. You know. Should have thought of that earlier, but it is what it is. Put this back and here. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, I think that's it for that kind of stuff. So we can get back to the, the fun part of the game. Which is much better than inventory work. 
Yeah, my, my thought was, you know, going to the left uh, or was being productive, but we had reached lava, I think, on that side. And to the right, we definitely should go eventually, I think. But, um, of course, when we do that, we'll probably run into caverns that we've already explored from the mountain. Although, connecting those caverns will be a good thing. Gotta be kind of careful here. Get some blink root. And kill this guy. I, I hate all... Just the enemies in this game are really well made, but they're so annoying sometimes. Like right now. And they're like, oh, stupid night blindless thing. Come on. Slimes just don't want to die. Underwater mushrooms. Kind of different. Oh boy. I am glad we searched down here. As you can see, we found a large, awesome supply of gold. That's quite good. I'm wash my breath though, I don't wanna... Gosh, I, I swear, if if the thing that kills me in this game is gravity or water, it's either of those, I'll be quite disappointed with um, myself. I gotta throw down one of these. These guys are just vicious. Fortunately, though, our um, Light's Bane really does do a lot of damage. We sent him uh, running away for a second there. Eh, it's more iron. Don't really need it. I mean, if I was playing, you know, just on my own time, I probably would collect it, but again, for the sake of the video, and oh boy, there's some lag, but uh, at least it's mild lag. Nothing like that. that cor the, the lag and the corruption was just terrible. I think it was because there were so many enemies spawning above ground. Because there's a lot of them. And, um... That's where we had that little, um... Okay, we're back right to where we were. When... Everything got messed up. Oh, we gotta collect that first. Can't collect the sand, the chest without the sand. And I really like collecting these chests just because... I don't know, they make great decorations. And I, I don't know if you can... Craft the golden chest or not. I... Because I could look that up on the online stuff, but it doesn't matter because I have more of them than I'll ever probably use, especially given I have a huge stash of them in the, um, uh, what's it called, in, in my regular world file, so I'm going to do that. I really can't express, though, how much I am excited for the updates coming along in the game. By the way, guys, um, I want to, uh, I guess, actually apologize for not getting any videos out over the course of the week, uh, weekend that was. I I know you guys have become accustomed to me putting out a video more or less every day, and uh, on Sunday and Monday, I really didn't upload anything, um, and I, I actually recorded an episode on Sunday and on Monday. Oh, oh dear. Okay, it just like froze, like actually froze, froze for a second there. Well, again, I'll be getting a new computer soon. 
Um, very soon. Like, probably before the end of the month. So, look forward to that. And I probably will wait to make a server until I have the new computer, as I, I, th I think... I, I'm not sure exactly how making a server works, and I could be wrong on this, so feel free to let me know in the comments if, that, if I am Oh, dear. This looks like a... This looks like a dangerous drop. Forgot that he could go through here. Yeah, wait for this guy to come around. So yeah, because I need a little bit of instruction in how to even make a god. Okay, I can't see anything. Oh god, it was just a freaking piranha. I wow. Okay. Sorry, I did not do that well. We just got a lot, though, of gold. We just got nine gold there. Sorry. Uh, I freaked out a little bit because it was like all dark down there. And then I was being attacked. And there's a life crystal over here that I really wanted. So, yeah. So that's that. I believe there's some gold up here. Okay, there we go. Kill this guy. Really hate the bats. Okay. So, back on topic, um, the reason I didn't get anything out, and I mentioned this in the um, in the description of the last video, but I, I always get a feeling that no one ever reads descriptions, and, and the reason I get that feeling is because I never read <laughs> descriptions on videos when I watch them. So, um, so you know, it's just uh, my thought. Um, the reason that I didn't get the uh, Monday and Sunday episodes out on Monday and Sunday, but rather at like like this morning, um, was because I spent all of Sunday night uh, and Monday morning camping out in front of um, Buffalo Wild Wings that opened up in my town uh, this morning at 10 a.m. or yesterday morning at 10 a.m. Why well, it was yesterday that and that's also why in the video I mentioned I had like a really bad deja vu is because my brain wasn't working terribly well because I was so tired um, stupid bats I'm I'm definitely gonna reference in the title of this oh uh, there's a bunch of gold over there I'm definitely going to reference in the title of this video the fact that bats really suck, or something like that. Because they really do. They're just terrible, terrible creatures. So. Um, but what I was trying to say is that I, uh, I actually spent the entire night from about 11 p.m. Sunday night, um, right when I got, which was right when I finished video recording the, uh, the previous episode, the, I guess, episode 17, maybe, of the playthrough. It's about the same time period as that. Oh, that guy died. Huh. That's kind of funny. I'm going to try to think about what the best way to mine this, because I am going to mine all of this. Very carefully, though. Because, again, I don't want to die. Oh, uh, you got to admit, that was skillful. Instead, I'm getting as far away from that as possible. Stupid 
bats. Yeah, so we, uh, myself and several of my friends, stayed uh, stayed the entire night. Uh, and as a result of staying the entire night in front of the um, in front of the Buffalo Wild Wings, we uh, oh dear. Okay, that, yeah, it's so annoying. It warms to worms and bats and mother slimes. All these enemies just really just I mean is a spawn has a spawn rate been turned up or something? Seriously. Seriously. And the reason I'm being cautious is because there's lava in the area. And I can see a steady glow from there. I don't want to die in the lava, but I also want to look to see if there's gold next to the lava. So yeah, but we, uh, as a result of staying, see, I knew there'd be more gold down here, because the closer you get to the lava, the more risk you're taking, the more risk you're taking, the more reward you get. Uh, at least that's my sort of thought on the matter. But we, um, as a result of, sp sorry, it's taken me like a long time to express a very simple thought. As a result of spinning on in front of there, we got these booklets, which contain 52 coupons for Buffalo Wild Wings, which is just like a wing place if you haven't heard of it before, by the way. Um, which kind of makes sense from its name, that it would be a wing joint, Buffalo Wild Wings, you know. They have Buffalo Wings. And the booklet gives you through... gives you three... No, six free w wings. Okay, I'm not going to go any further that way. Gives you, yeah, six free wings once a week. Um, do you see this? Do you see how many bats are spawning around me? And you can see why I was so cautious over there. I mean, look at that. And... Other reason I'm not falling back now is because of, um... Yeah, it seems like the enemy's spawn rate is really high here for some reason. And I... Don't think they can reach up here, fortunately. We'll put some platforms over here, though. Do I not have any more platforms? Well, we have to be really careful then. Um, amount of platforms. I thought I had more than that. Yeah, and so my friends and I now have essentially 52 weeks of six free wings once a week, which is, I think, 312 wings if you do the math, which is pretty cool, I would say. Um, very cool, actually, because I think the total value of that is like $300 or something. I mean, supposing, no, probably $150, because each wing doesn't cost a full dollar. But the wings are pretty valuable, nonetheless, like, as a, as a whole. Because to get six wings is... Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, sorry if I'm being quiet, by the way. I'm just being really cautious. You know, with all the lava and stuff. If 
unfortunately the enemy spawns have gone down some since uh, since whatever was going on a few minutes ago because that was just terrible. I'm curious to see what this is over here to the left. Uh, it's just a little tiny pocket of lava, so I'm not gonna, not, I'm not gonna investigate that. Oh gosh. Really? Really? Oh, well, I guess I should thank the bats, really, for that little push there. Alright, well this is probably about as far down as I'm going to go. Um, so, let's collect whatever's in this, and this blink root, of course. And then head back to the base. And see if we can't craft some more gold bars. A lot of gold bars, a lot more than I realized. And I think that's enough to make like a gold helmet or something, at least. Maybe even a gold like chest plate type thing. And I don't think I can put that on yet. Yeah, that's 30, 35, 25. So I'll make the helmet first. This makes sense, you know. However many of these I can make as well. Gosh, more copper. And more silver. Alright, I got... Oh, what the heck? Just thank you, Mr. Guy, for leaving the door wide open. It was very nice of you. To be so welcoming to our... Guests, zombies, people. And yeah, guys, I have probably for the rest of this episode, I... I'm not sure how long the episode's been thus far, so I don't want to make it too much longer, but I think I might build some extra rooms. Um, we do kind of need to get more NPCs to move in. I believe that the, um, the Dryad will move in thanks to having beat Cthulhu, and we definitely have enough for the merchant uh, and, and the nurse, so all of those could be potentially useful. Some iron, some more copper. We have two, we have a stack and a half of copper, wow. Alright, sweet. And the rest of the stuff can just... I'm sorry, I'm be again, if I'm being silent, I just... I'm trying to... think at the same time as doing these things. And perhaps my brain isn't powerful enough to, <laughs> to do that. Um, uh, one thing, guys... Um, if there is, I was going to ask you, if, if there is any direction that you guys want me to go in with this stuff, I mean, for, for this, not just for this playthrough, but for, like, uh, my videos in general, uh, Terraria and otherwise, let, let me know. Um, after all, the, the reason I make these videos is for you guys, so it, it only is fair that you guys should have some input. So, if you guys have any idea of anything that you might want to see. Let's see, where is that? Potions, potions, potions. There you go. And more mushrooms. Yeah, if there's anything you guys want to see, again, just let me know. Now, try and provide it. can't make any promises that I... Yeah, there's only some things that I can and can't do. 
um, you know, with my limited time schedule and where did I put my torches? I probably deposited them when I quick stacked stuff, didn't I? Yep, I did do that indeed. And platforms too. Platforms, platforms. Plus I'm out. I might be actually I was out, wasn't I? But I had some in here. So that'll do. Sweet. Um actually I'm gonna pause the video real quick and I'll be right back. <laughs> 